So we had to um, submit different um, like competitions. So we had four different categories in this, this state competition and um, every different student could choose to apply for a different one. And um, pretty much I applied for the employability skills. So then in that one is like a resume and cover letter and then, you know, getting everything right on it, making sure like if they wanted to check it, that it's actually correct. And, you know, so pretty much being truthful for everything. And then you get to do your cover letter, which is just like a big summary of your life and everything that you've done. Um, and then so you have to write all this, uh, proofread it and then submit it to the state um, IJAG Association. So then they look over over like uh, like I think it's sixteen hundred students. So they look over all those different resumes and all those different categories and stuff, and then they uh, choose who th they think the best is. And out of the best, they uh, select them to go to state, which is state is in um, Des Moines at the Iowa Event Center, and it was called CDC uh, Career Development Conference. Yeah, and then um, when you get there, so we take a whole day off of school. And we left at 5 in the morning, and we got there around 8 or 9. And then um, right as soon as we got there, we had to jump into the opening ceremony. And then it was just talking about our, our day and how we were going to plan everything out. So we ended up doing, like, workshops and, like, a career job, like a job fair. And um, it was pretty much like... It was kind of like a job fair all, of, all on its own. So we got to do certain workshops and certain activities with other jobs and other companies and it was it was fun um, and then we had to compete so every different category had a different time they had to compete so they gave us like three different schedules like a b c schedule and muscatine was on the c schedule but for some reason the schedule was mixed up for our skills that we got elected in so a lot of us had to do times for like the a schedule or so it was kind of all random i think the only one who was on the right schedule was me and i think another person um but I didn't get to compete until around, I want to say one. And so how mine, I couldn't tell you how other people's competitions went because it was different for different skills. But uh, employability skills was like a mock interview. So you'd go in act, like acting like you're applying for a job, interviewing. And so we had two judges in each room. And then you'd walk in a room by yourself. So no one else was in there. You'd walk in by yourself. And you pretty much just put on like a show, like pretty much just you're trying out for something, you're interviewing for something. So I walked in there all confidence and just tried to, you know, win them over. And um, so I like shook their hand and showed them my resume and cover letter. And this requirement too was like, you only needed a resume, but I actually brought my cover letter too. So it was like a two for one, so it was extra. And then, um, so they looked over everything. Um, asked me like I think it was six questions so they asked me six questions but I could go over so we got like an eight minute time frame that we can go through um, they asked me these six questions and then I ended up like impressing them so much that they kept asking me more and more questions so like it ended up being like I think the full eight minutes and um, at the end of it they actually told me I had a perfect score and they're like we can't tell anyone that but we we believe that you have a perfect score, and um, yeah. So they, and then they offered me a job at Principal Financial because that was the group that was actually judging me. So it was a pretty big impact on that. I wanna, I wanna do a big shout out to Mr. McConnell and Mrs. Durham. They really helped me with my resume and cover letter. They checked it over twice, checked it over three times, and they're still doing that for you know when we go to nationals and in, um, in next month. So. They're, they did they did a lot for me and they helped me get to that point. Yeah, so it's in Orlando, Florida, and it will be April seventh or April eighteenth to the twenty third. So I'll leave the seventeenth and come back the twenty third. And um, as far as we know, the competition is similar. The only thing I have to do differently is I have to pick a job that I'm applying for and it has to fit me. Like it has to, like if I could get it, then I could get it. Um, and the only thing different too is that they're asking for a resume and a cover letter, so I have to do both. And right now it's pretty much just preparing myself as the interview process goes, and it's pretty much just um, like fixing my cover letter up, making sure everything's correct, making sure all the grammar's correct, it sounds perfect, and then my resume is the same way. Um, 
And then it's like, so it's a, it's a formal conference. So it is a bigger, it's national. So we'll have 41 different states plus Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands will be there. So um, there'll be 41 states that I verse myself. So that's 41 students I'll verse. Um, and these are like the best out of the best in the whole state for the same skill. Um, so I have to make sure all my stuff's correct. And then this, this whole conference is like a dress formal, like formal wear. So we have to wear suits all the time, you know, very, very professional. And actually we get judged on our suits. Wow. Yeah, so it's very, yes, I, I hope, now that I won state and I didn't think I was gonna win state, it's like now I wanna win nationals. Like I need to, as being the first person who won state in Muscatine history, I'm like, I need to bring back that nationals title. I need to bring back that. Because it's also my senior year, so like, you know, I got to get it back, you know. So iJag in general is a very good program, and it's most schools in the state actually don't have an iJag program. And iJag really helps you, um, like, step out of your comfort zones. A lot of uh, teachers and schools will push you to go to college. iJag really doesn't, not, not necessarily care, but they, they don't mind if you don't go to college. They want you to just figure out what you're going to do after high school, whether it be going in the workforce, the going to college, going to trades, like anything like that. They just wanna make sure you have a plan after high school and help you get to that certain plan. Um, it's helpful for everyone. Our 910 program is more project-based, so they do a lot of different projects. Our 1112 is more field trips, getting you ready for those jobs and internships. And then our, we had, we had just started a 7-8 program, so that is more of like talking, like hey, getting that, that, that public speaking you know, goals and stuff. It is, it's overall a really good program and um, it has benefit a lot of people. If you don't know what you're doing after college or after high school or you're still stuck in certain areas in high school, like that is a perfect program. And it's also very fun. I mean, you get to do many different field trips. In high school, like we barely go to field trips on your own. So, but in, in IJAG, you go to different colleges, you do different like trade schools, uh, skills. Um, and just stuff like that. So you do a lot of different uh, field trips and a lot of different engaging, you know, things.